Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. This is going to be your monthly tarot forecast for the month of April for all of the signs. Before I get into your spreads, this is a general reading. So if you feel like what I'm saying is not resonating with you, don't waste your time or mine. Just click out of this video, check out the playlist link down below and go find your moon and or rising sign or go find you another free reader to watch on YouTube. It is very simple, okay? Um, Typical four card spread going over the overall energy for you guys for the month of April. Also any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing. And because we are in Aries energy, Cardinal Aries energy, we're going to be looking at what you need to initiate during this month, what you need to light the fire under. And as always, a quick little soul message for you, okay? Before I get into your spread, I do want to shamelessly plug myself. <laughs> I do now have a TikTok channel in which I put up hella short readings. So if you like shorter readings find me on there and it's actually not sunshine haze code it is my name my brand it's aja.a that's a-u-j-h-a dot a-y-e okay um i also have hella videos going up it is a new month so i do have the april pick a card spread up i also am going to stop lying to you guys because i don't have anything going on right now i don't have my neighbors bothering me i don't have my job bothering me as much as they usually do right now so i will be putting up your love readings for all the signs over the next week or so okay um what else do i want you guys to watch we just came off of a libra full moon so check out that video we'll have the aries new moon popping up in the middle of the month and we will also be going back into a retrograde cluster starting off the cluster of retrogrades for the year 2021 at the end of the month i believe starting with pluto so that video will be linked as soon as it does go up okay and those are all the plugs i got for you let's get into your spreads aries this video is for you aries sun moon and rising let's get right into your messages for the first card in your spread you have yin in the position of the overall energy for you for the month of april for your month um for those of you that are are, are april aries <laughs> okay also happy birthday to all the aries by the way um the first message that i get with this card is that there's change coming in for you aries which does not surprise me because you know you are coming into your new rotation around the sun you're about to start a whole new cycle around this little that big old star in the sky okay um but with the yin card uh, there is a message here aries that you have to allow the things that are supposed to be coming in for you to come in for you i get this notion that you know you guys are cardinal you're also fire so you guys are always trying to do something always trying to start something different always trying to start something new start new projects meet new people go to new places do new things which is not a bad thing however the energy for you for the month of april is actually a little bit more lax than what you are used to <laughs> okay um there is the numerology of the or the energy the numerical energy of the number two here which does point to things coming into balance harmony and and finding some peace so aries i don't want to be the ones to tell you to chill out on your fire but you need to maybe turn you know how you can turn the look have y'all ever okay now i might be Sam might be telling y'all my age, but honestly, I won't be. My Grammy, she used to have these lamps, and you could turn, they were like fire oil lamps, I think, and you could turn a dial, and the more you turn the dial, the higher the flame would go. So during the month, Aries, you might need to dial back a little bit. This is not to say to completely extinguish your fire, but this is to say don't have it up at full heat. Don't have your wick turn all the way up because you, when you put that much energy out, you're not leaving space for anything to come in. During this month, as you start off your year, it's important for you to open your eyes and open your spirit and your energy to whatever is supposed to be coming in for you. There's opportunities, there's changes, there's probably relationships or friendships or conversations that need to be had. 
And if you're just on go, 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 go all the time and putting out, you know, yang energy, <laughs> you know, you're not going to be aware of and you're not going to be open to receiving the things that are supposed to be coming in for you. So Aries, move into this year a little gentle. Be a little gentle with be a little gentle with it, okay? Um, like I said, this is not to say, yo, dim your light, dim your fire, tone down your passions. This is just to say, open up your energy to receiving what it is that needs to be received during the month of April because there are new changes and new things coming in for you. And because I know a few Aries and I know how y'all's energy is, like I said, if you're just on go, 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 you're going to miss the opportunities that are meant to come in for you, okay? And that's all I want to say about that card. I want to move into your crossing energy, your obstacle for the month. You've got the chariot. And whenever the chariot pops up in a crossing position, I always get the message of you are your own obstacle. And listen, Aries season is a you season. So I'm not surprised to see that you would be the one blocking your blessings. Don't block your blessings, Aries. That's like, honestly, all these cards that I can pull, the chariot is one of the worst cards that I can pull in a crossing position because it's literally the message of, well, the challenge that you're facing doesn't even need to be a challenge because you're the one bringing it in. And what I get with this chariot card is that the only reason the challenge is there is because Aries, you, like I said, you guys are cardinal you are also fire so you have your ideas of the ways that you want things to work you know the path that you want to take you know the type of work that you want to do but here's the thing the way the energy is set up right now you're supposed to be receiving you're supposed to be allowing whatever change is coming in to come in for you allowing whatever opportunities are coming in to come in for you and if you're going against the grain by sticking to that aries on the shadow side of well, this is what I want and this is how I want to do it and me, me, me and this is how it's going to go. It, we can't do my way or the highway during this month, Aries. It's not going to work out for you. And a very important note is that you don't want any negative, stagnant, dense or crazy energies popping off at the start of your year because that is an indication of how the whole year is going to play out. So for this month, while you are sitting pretty, because honestly, that's what you need to do during this month. Just sit pretty. Sitting pretty, Aries. You just keeping it cute, all right? While you're sitting pretty, don't try to go against the grain. Turn these cards into these challenging cards. I always talk about turning them into upright positions. The chariot is not a crossing energy that you need. The chariot, you need, you need the strength and you need to be able to charge forward and doing whatever it is that you need to do. But understand that you can't charge forward if you don't know what's coming in. So be open to receiving whatever opportunities, whatever insight, whatever advice is supposed to be coming in for you, and then do what the, do with it what you will, you feel me? But understand that you're going to stay like this if you just say, well, I'm doing this and I'm doing X, Y, and Z, and these are the moves that I'm going to make, and I don't care what you say over here, I don't care what you got going on over here, I don't care that I was told to be patient and do X, Y, and Z over here. Aries have some patience during this month and also have the strength to be patient to be patient have the strength to be patient and also have the strength to discipline yourself to not do everything to not do too much if fire signs are known for that look y'all look I'm sorry but y'all know that fire signs are known for doing too much so don't do too much during this month just kind of take a breather and when I say take a breather, I, I really don't mean don't do anything, but I mean like you take a step back and look at all of the moves that you're making and see where they're detrimental and where they're causing blockages for you. Because you don't want any blockages during this month at the beginning of your year. You want all of the opportunities that are supposed to come in to come in for you. You want all of the all of the praise and all of the all of the abundance that's supposed to be on its way to you and all of the change that's supposed to be coming in for you to come in. You don't want to be sitting here like, well, things are still looking like how they looked last year and the year before that because I want to do things my way or the highway. You cannot do that during this time, Aries. That's not what it's about. Sorry. Sorry to, to reel back y'all's me, me, me. Unfortunately, that's what we're talking about here. Right now, it is, it is me, but it's me in the sense of letting the universe or God or spirit or whatever it is that you believe in bring in whatever the me is supposed to be for you during this time okay turn this chariot card into an upright position 
Next card that I have in your spread is in the position of what needs to be initiated during this time. And you've got the fool. And so I get this um, clean slate is the first thing that I'm hearing. And I don't know what that could be in regards to Aries, but I do get the sense that you need to start fresh, which is probably why you have yin energy coming up for you is because you need to allow yourself to figure out what it is that you're embarking upon. What new journeys are you coming into? What new spaces are you coming into? This is what needs to be initiated. So Aries, the way that you've been doing things, especially in that cross chariot energy, is no more. Is no longer. That's not something you need to be focused on. That's not even something that you need to revisit during this time. You need to focus on what's new, what's next. And understand that you don't know what's new or what's next. And I think that's the most important thing. Like I said, you guys are cardinal and you're fire. And the main trait of cardinal fire is I'm starting this and I know exactly what it is that I'm starting and I'm going to embark upon this journey. You got the fool here. And sometimes the fool is just taking a leap of faith. The fool is sometimes I don't really know what's off in the distance, but I'm going to pack my little bag and I'm going, I'm going, I'm just going to walk down this path. Remember, yin is your overall energy. So as you tap into this fool energy and you allow things to come in, you'll find yourself going towards where you need to go. You'll find yourself being where you need to be. You will probably find yourself living your best life. Um, I also get the sense that Aries, if there's something that you are holding on to, um, and I get the sense that it's something that you really want to work or something that you really, really want to do, but you've been getting notions that it doesn't or that it's not supposed to or that you've outgrown it or that you're no longer in alignment with it, break away from it. Break away from it, even if it feels painful, even... It's all good, even when it feels strange, like Drake said, even if it feels a little weird to, to walk away or to, to shut it down or to detach your cords, take this time to remove yourself from the things that you don't need to carry with you into this new year. You look at this, look at this full card. What is this little figure taking with them? Nothing but a little cloth bag and, and maybe a dog. <laughs> possibly a dog <laughs> but they're not they're not leaving with much they're not going with much they got what they can carry in this little cloth bag and to keep it completely honest the way that the, the imagery is in this card there ain't nothing attaching that little cloth bag to that stick so really let go of all of your baggage let go of the things that are weighing you down that are weighing heavy on your heart mind and spirit because you do not want to carry them into your new rotation around the sun as i keep saying aries this is a time for you to just make moves into this new space new energy and see what it brings you last card in your spread is affluence and this is a this is an abundant card, but I'm I'm not picking up on, you know, money vibes with this card. I'm more so picking up on the numerology associated with this card and feeling the need to tell you guys that you have everything that you need already. You don't need to keep doing things to make things happen. You don't need to right now, I, I don't know why, but Aries right now is not the time to work. That's that's really the message that I'm getting. I, I get that you guys want to tap into your fire and you want to do A, B, and C, but I'm really getting is that <laughs> my mom's <laughs> y'all do not come in my head, but I'm about to tell y'all what my mom says <laughs> when I'll be doing too much. Even in it it, it and it's not even in regards to anything sexual, but the phrase is, y'all need to sit y'all little hot twats down. And that that's the energy that I get with, with your spread here is that you, you're, you're trying to do too much. Y'all just need to keep it cute and sit pretty for the month of April. Understand that whatever's supposed to play for play out for you will play out for you. You have everything that you need already. You have an abundance of the tools and the resources that you need. Uh, for some reason though, you feel like you need to get more. You feel like you're not fully equipped for whatever is coming in for you. But Aries, you you are. You got every all you have is all you need and all you need is all that you have. You got everything in that little orange teardrop bag. Is that a bird maybe? I, you know what? I'm not entirely sure. But you have everything that you need. And the reason why you feel like you need to do more is because you feel like you're about to jump off of a cliff and you don't know if you're going to go splat. You don't know if you're jumping into some water. You don't know if you're jumping into a new dimension, a new realm or whatever. But Aries, the thing is with the fool, you don't know. But all I can tell you is that you have everything that you need to take that leap of faith. So just go on and, and keep it pushing and keep it moving and stop 
holding yourself back from whatever it is that you're supposed to be coming into alignment with. Also with this affluence card is the number five. So this just further confirms what I was saying about you coming into spaces of change. It's, things are shifting for you. Things are changing for you. What once was, whatever you was rocking with last year. And I really do get that. Whatever you were doing in these past few months or over the past couple of years, eh, life is about to look a little different, but understand that everything's happening the way that it needs to. There may be some things playing out over this month that don't necessarily look all that beneficial to you. But again, do not go against the grain. Do not fight them. Why? Because they're happening, because it's bringing something new in for you, okay? Allow whatever change is playing out to play out. Understand that you have everything you need for the change that's coming in. And just go on and walk your path, even though you don't necessarily know where you're going. You'll get to where you need to be, all right? And that is your reading. I hope that it found you well. Um, if you want to book your own personal reading, you can do so with me through my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. Just go there and then click on the little drop down and click tarot. That's where all of my spreads are listed. If you don't see a spread on there that resonates with you or you don't see something that you feel like fits what you're looking for, feel free to shoot me a message on Etsy or any of my socials for Sunshine Haze Co. And they're all at Sunshine Haze Co. That's all one word. And hit me up and we can we can get something rocking and rolling for you okay thank you guys for tuning in happy april happy birthday to all the aries welcome to the world annie happy birthday to my best friend sam um happy birthday to what other aries do i know i don't know those are like the most important aries in my life so that's all i got for you but happy birthday to the rest of y'all rest of y'all Aries even though y'all are the most wild sign that I have ever encountered I still love y'all because I love me some cardinal signs apparently all right you guys thank you for tuning in I will catch y'all next time peace